Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Terry. Hope you guys and gals are doing well. Welcome back to the channel. So in my last video on here, I showed you all how you can basically get your white balance perfect inside of DaVinci Resolve with one of those 18% gray cards and how you could just use a little color picker and it will set your white balance automatically. Well, I had a commenter say, hey, can you show us how to do the same thing in Premiere Pro? And I actually didn't have an active Premiere Pro license going at the time, but now I do just for this video here. And you know, hey, I wanna give you guys what, what y'all want here. So without further ado, here's how you can do the exact same thing with an 18% gray card to set your white balance perfectly in Adobe Premiere Pro 2023. All right, everybody, here's my timeline here in Adobe Premiere Pro. Got that same footage from the last video here for you as an example. Already got a nice frame here picked out. You wanna go up here to your workspace selector and you wanna go from editing down here to color. And then as far as getting the white balance with this gray card, it's very simple. You wanna go over here and just go to the Lumetri color tab right here. And then you wanna go in and find the color section and you wanna go ahead and click on white balance. Click this little eyedropper, click on that gray card and it already changed. Again, it's very, very, very subtle but you should have been able to see a difference here. So I'm gonna just like, you know, un undo that like real quick and redo it. Again, it's very subtle, but you should be able to tell the difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and look for that LUT again. There we go, no top light. Bump up the exposure by about half a step. I'm gonna pull down the highlights quite a bit. And this is pretty equivalent to what I had in uh, DaVinci Resolve the other day. And honestly, I think it looks pretty good. So yeah, just like in DaVinci Resolve here, everybody, it's very easy to do the same thing in Premiere Pro with that little white balance selector tool. So yeah, I hope this might have helped somebody out there. If you want to see more content like this here on the channel, do me a huge favor. Get this video liked and get subscribed. I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys and gals next time. Take care, everybody.